Hello friends, this is lecture 11 of Java tutorial series, Loops in Java. In this tutorial, we will learn how to use for loop in Java with the help of examples, and we will also learn about the working of loop in computer programming. In computer programming, loops are used to repeat a block of code. For example, if you want to show a message, hello world 100 times, then rather than typing the same code 100 times, you can use a loop. In programming languages, loops are used to execute a set of instructions or functions repeatedly when some conditions become true. In order to understand what loops are, we have to look at some real-life cases of loops. Consider your daily routine, you wake up, you brush, you wear clothes and then head off to work, come back, eat and then sleep off. Again the next day, you do the same things in the same order, and go to sleep again. This cycle keeps on repeating. This concept of repetitive actions perform time and again is called a loop. Now come to the next why we need of loops in Java. Imagine a program which is required to output a particular value of a variable 800 times. Now we all know that the code for writing output is system.out.println text. But in order to print this 800 times, we will need to write the same line 800 times in the code. That would take up a lot of effort, which is particularly just copy-pasting the same sentence 800 times. Let us say that you have managed to copy-paste the entire thing easily. Now if there is a different program which requires you to print the first 800 natural numbers. The copy-paste method would not work because you still would have to go to all these lines and fit a number. That's where loops come into play. Loops make it very easy to group all the code that's needed to be repetitively processed and throw it under scope. The loop does the remaining job. Now coming to the types of loops. Java provides three ways for executing the loops. While all the ways provide similar basic functionality, they differ in their syntax and condition checking time. For loop. While loop. Do while loop. This tutorial focuses on the for loop. You will learn about the other type of loops in the upcoming tutorials. For loop provides a concise way of writing the loop structure. Unlike a while loop, a for statement consumes the initialization, condition, and increment decrement in one line thereby providing a shorter, easy-to-debug structure of looping. The Java for loop is used to iterate a part of the program several times. If the number of iteration is fixed, it is recommended to use for loop. There are three types of for loops in Java. Simple for loop. For each, or, enhanced for loop. Labeled for loop. Now, I will explain one by one in detail. Java simple for loop. The simple for loop is the same as C or C++. We can initialize the variable, check condition, and increment decrement value. It consists of four parts. 1. Initialization. The initializing statement marks the beginning of the loop structure. It contains a variable with some initial value that is defined by the programmer. This is the value of the control variable when the control shifts into the loop. However, this statement is executed only once. If a particular variable is declared within this part, then the scope of the variable remains limited within the loop. 2. Condition. It is the second condition which is executed each time to test the condition of the loop. 
that it continues execution until the condition is false. It must return Boolean value either true or false. It is an optional condition. 3. Statement The statement of the loop is executed each time until the second condition is false. 4. Increment decrement It increments or decrements the variable value. It is an optional condition. The basic syntax of Java for loop goes like this. Now, look at this flowchart. An example Java program explaining the functioning of a for loop. Now, second type of for loop is enhanced for loop. Java also includes another version of for loop introduced in Java 5. Enhanced for loop provides a simpler way to iterate through the elements of a collection or array. It is inflexible and should be used only when there is a need to iterate through the elements in sequential manner without knowing the index of currently processed element. Also note that the object variable is immutable when enhanced for loop is used like it ensures that the values in the array cannot be modified so it can be set as read only loop where you can't update the values as opposite to other loops where values can be modified. The for each loop is used to traverse a rare collection in Java. It is easier to use than simple for loop because we don't need to increment value and use subscript notation. It works on elements basis not index. It returns element one by one in the defined variable. We recommend using this form of the for statement instead of the general form whenever possible. This is the syntax of enhanced for loop. Let's take an example to demonstrate how enhanced for loop can be used to simplify the work. Suppose there is an array of number and we want to print all the number in that array. Now third is Java labeled for loop. We can have a name of each Java for loop. To do so, we use label before the for loop. It is useful if we have nested for loop so that we can break or continue specific for loop. Usually, break and continue keywords breaks or continues the innermost for loop only. This is the syntax of labeled for loop. Look at this example of labeled for loop. If you use break bb, it will break inner loop only which is the default behavior of any loop. This is the another example of labeled for loop. There is some different for loop like Java infinitive for loop. If you use two semicolons in the for loop, it will be infinitive for loop. This is the syntax of infinitive for loop. Look at this infinitive for loop example. Now, you need to press Ctrl plus C to exit from the program. Java nested for loop. If we have a for loop inside the another loop, it is known as nested for loop. The inner loop executes completely whenever outer loop executes. Look at this example very carefully. So now the for loop is done. If you have any question related to this then please ask me in comment. Please subscribe my channel, thank you.